what's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Robocraft how to make a walker yes walkers are very very unique robots because they utilize these walker legs and if I'm not mistaken you can get walker legs at very early not that early actually tier 7 and you get these wolf legs as well I think you can get them still I'm not sure but yes at tier 7 you can get walker legs so what are walkers? Well, they are basically robots with legs, hence the name walkers. And basically, they can utilize the ground as... They can use any terrain as hiding spots. They can climb mountains and hide behind it. Yes, a flyer can also do that, but a flyer cannot hide for long. Where these guys can... If I can show you, like, uh, just using this as a reference, you know, they can, like, peek out and then go back, you know, peek out, go back. Where a flyer has to fly out and then suddenly have to maneuver back. Uh, maybe there are more professional flyers out there, but we are here on the walker tutorial, and I'm going to show you how to make a very cool walker. So, first of all, you start off with a decent line of white blocks, and in all of my tutorial videos, why I use the white blocks is because that these are for me placeholders and then later I swap them out for higher tier or better armor cubes for different tiers but anyways so that's why I use these we are you just make a straight line and then slap down some of those walker legs so you can have a nice ro uh, rose risen up body okay so we're gonna go three wide uh, search and there we go and there we go you see three wide and about uh, let's quickly count it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen you could keep it at fifteen it doesn't matter uh, I just got, like it to make it long because these walkers actually have a wide range If I, if I've, let me put it this way. If I want to slap one down, see, it still has it needs a quite of a range. But I like to have it up until you know a little bit ways back. So yeah, let us continue. Hmm. We are going to make like a little bug kind of thing. So first of all, you want to kind of uh, keep the bottom side flat. Nothing. It was special there. You can add these rectifiers. Where is it? These ones. If you really want to, you can add those, but I don't recommend it. Um, well, actually, I do recommend it. You know, I'll take it back. You have to put on one of those because if you fall over with a walker, it's a nightmare to get back up on your feet. Okay, and we're going to slap some of these guys on. Here, here, and here. And then, like so, and like so. And same for the back side as well. And do it over here. And over here. Just go over. Nope. There we go, there we go, there we go. There we go. What I usually like to do is, just for, it's just my personal preference, you don't have to do it, is... I make the back legs a bit higher, higher, or add more blocks. And let me put it this. Show me this way. This way. This is way easier. Okay. Or put it like that. Okay. For the back legs. But what I will do for the front legs is something like this. Okay. Now you're asking me. Okay. Why the hell are you doing that? Well, as you can see, these legs are higher than these ones. But as you start the game, you're like on an incline. And what I usually like to do is add weapons here at the back, like a scorpion-like thing. It's basically, if we go to the Robo Shop, if I can find that walker. Yeah, there it is. You know, like that type of leg, um, not leg, that type of tail they have here. That's what I kind of like to do by this setup. It's, it's decent, but it's not pre my preference, okay? But what I like to do is then add that tail, and as soon as you start the game, you're inclined and your 
basically the ass of the robot is higher up. So, but we are just gonna make a decent robot. It's it's a cool one. It's a cool idea. But you can, like I said, this is a tutorial, and you can change it the whatever way you like. This is just an idea. This is just to get you started. For those new guys who don't know how to make a walker, this is how you do it. Well, first of all, you have to get to tier 7, actually. So, good luck on that. Okay. As you can see, we are still on tier 6, but as soon as you're going to start chopping and changing some things around here, I'm just wondering. Okay, we do this. This and this, 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 and this, and then we're gonna start adding these blocks. Actually, we can just this, and this, like so, like so. Okay, and then we bring out it one. Actually, you can do this as well. So and so. There we go. So. This is quite tedious. But it's worth it. Believe me, it's really worth it. So. 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 Check. Yeah, they are all aligned. Like so and like so. All right, and this is how where your weapons are going to be, right over there. Okay, and let's add the weapons now. You know, uh, I'm just going to choose the biggest guns I do have. Actually, as you can see, these are going to clash. So. What I suggest you do is take some of this out, extend it out one like this, and then boom. It should not clash. Um, just trying to figure out how I did it. <laughs> just, I did it a minute ago, and now I forgot about it. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's right, yes. Sorry, I'm getting brain farts today again. I'm usually, a lot, every, almost every day now, I'm getting brain farts. Okay, so I kind of like it this way. Um, I think in the previous update, they, what they've done is plasma launchers, according to how many you have on your vehicle, is let's say for instance you got five of these, then it takes longer for them to recharge. If you have three of these, then that's awesome, you know, then that's a decent firing rate. And we will fix this like it curves nicely up, upwards like this. But for now, this is how the layout is going to look like. All right. Now, what we do is we give it a little downside there. Start doing this. Actually, just take out those two. Just add one there. Then you go all the way like this. Right up until there. Because I will show you why in a moment. Because it's actually really, really cool. I don't know if you guys know the belly slide. If you guys watched my previous videos, you would know what it is. The belly slide. And then you add your little guy. I usually put mine in the middle. Almost on every robot, it's kind of in the middle. Okay, there we go, and you're gonna use your radar way in the front. So now we go and fill up these insides, its organs, and then you add your little radar. Because like I said, when you are in your third perspective mode, third person, then you can see your radar still. Okay, so let's finish up adding these last few blocks over here. Right, and then what you go and do is look at your movement, and if you have decent thrusters, preferably from tier five. Well, we're probably gonna be on tier four by now, but as you can see, it's too big. So I would say about tier three, a uh, tier five or six around there. You can add these guys. Actually, add one big one there. 
And I don't think that guy's gonna fit anywhere. Let's put him here. Let's put him there. There we go. Now what you can do is this, this, and this. Sue, sue, and sue. Alright, alright, this is looking good. It's looking good. Real good. Now you add more skirts. Which will add for extra protection. This is not a, a tutorial on how to make the best OP freaking walker. This is just to get help you get started, you know? Just, just like the basics, man. Just the basics. Okay, we will do that. Alright. Now, if you have these unlocked, which ones are these? These tier 5 electro plates. You probably have if you are working with a walker by now. What we are going to do is we're going to drop down like that and bring him out like that. Alright. And then you go and select your tier 5 electro plates, turn them. As you can see here on the left hand, if I can just like where that tier 5 is showing on the left hand screen, that side is all gonna be on the left side. So you're gonna basically put it there and you're gonna put one over there. So it's nice and closed in front and it looks really, really awesome. Just wanna check something. Oh yeah, that kind of confused me. It feels a little bit off though, doesn't it? There we go. I was, I was about to say, like, why does it feel right? Okay. So now you got that front going, which is pretty awesome. Now you want to protect these sides, okay? So, basically, you will be on tier 7 at least for now. So, you're going to add on some extra protections. If we can start talking right. Hmm, just trying to figure out how we gonna do this. How we gonna do this? Yeah, yeah, that will work. That will work definitely. I'm just trying to see if what we can do to make it look a little bit better. Hmm, hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, yes. I agree with you. Something like that. And something like that. There we go. Backside protected. You can also do the front. Just not a bad idea. Not a great idea, but not a bad idea either. Something like that. And that. So your only concern is if somebody hits you from this side, but I mean, it's not going to be that hectic. So. You've got these guys, Electro Plus. These are actually nice ones. These are really decent. So I just want to see how they look like. All right, all right, all right. So what we are going to do on this side, next to this leg, we are going to remove... Hmm, which one? That one. All right, that side. And that side. Then you're going to choose those Electro Plates such and as such and there you go and see the reason why I put those guys up high these plasma launchers is because you don't want to fire into these guys or any other shields you might put on later I just want to quickly check something yeah that's not gonna work you can do that, which also looks pretty cool. Extra protection, you know. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, and that's how you make a decent strong walker. You can go ahead on the sides, probably put on... Eh, you can't do that, unfortunately. Eh. Eh. Well, you can do that, and you can go and do... Why doesn't want to let me do that? weird. Oh, it's because it's clipping through that. Oh, I see. I see. That's a bit unfair, don't you think? Alright, and you can probably go do that then. 
and over here as well. Damn it, I have to stop now. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you for watching this episode of Robocraft, how to make a walker. A plasma walker, that is. So, yeah. If you guys find this information useful and enjoy the video, please leave a like, a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy the show.